Okay, continuing where we left off. As you can see, full screen. As you can see, that was the last screen we got on the previous tutorial. So we've now installed Linux Mint, made, we've changed the panel, uh, the Aureola Conkey has been added, and we've made even more changes to the panel. And now, what's next? Well, actually, we did not run a lot of personal stuff. I really like, and maybe you like them as well. So there is a folder, personal, and when you go inside it, there are still scripts to run. And what do these scripts do? Come on, move along, like so. Right mouse click, open in terminal, and move them here. These scripts are scripts that install folders. Depending on the distro you run, he will not install the folder music, or it will not have the folder GIMP yet, because you didn't install the GIMP. But I want to install my personal settings, and these are my personal stuff. And I want to be able to have a fully functional distro with all my extras, meaning extras, settings for Firefox, keyboard shortcuts, GNOME screenshot and saving in GPG rather than PNG. It spares me two megabytes per, per picture. Variety, uh, sublime text. So things that matter, things that I want to keep are in here. And we're gonna run these. If you're doing this exercise on VirtualBox, I would say do it. You'll see what happens and you will decide later. So this script here is just going to check does a folder exist? If the folder does not exist, then you make the icon thing. If it does exist, you do nothing. So nothing, no harm is done. And the only thing that happened is you created directories that, that doesn't take any kilobytes or so. Then the bookmarks, that's something specific. When I work, I have work on all my distros, Tergos, Arch Linux, Ubuntu. I want these to come with me. What are these? These are these. These are my bookmarks. So everything is kept in the data folder, Dropbox folder, InSync folder, icons. And these are my icons, but these are the icons from the system. These are my themes, and these are the themes from the system. These are my Aurora uh, conkeys where everything is kept, but this is the conkey that actually is running now. These are all the applications to check if my icons from Sardi are okay. Variety, okay, all the settings from Variety, all the images that he has downloaded already will be in here, but it's not working in VirtualBox. Bluetooth, I have a Bluetooth set here, so from time to time I have to figure out again how and what to change. Well, not figure out, but change it. And then the config, which is a hidden one. Everything is in here for config and the local if you're in KDE from time to time and the temp file for scripting. I tend to move everything here first and then move it to the right place and delete everything so the temp is clean. You see still a remnant of the fix, uh, the, the hard code fixer. Okay, so these are bookmarks. These are places to be, places I need to be 80% of the time. So I want to have them close by. Personal. Then the keyboard shortcuts. Everybody knows the Control Alt T, but you can program a lot more. If I press Control Alt F, nothing happens. I thought I would start Firefox now. So with 610, the personal settings keyboard shortcuts, he's going to install a program. If the program is installed, the shortcuts will be loaded. Control Alt F. And there we go. So I have this tendency to be more keyboard driven, probably because of the i3 WM that I use from time to time. So I, I tend to find programs with my fingers in the keyboard. So I give, I, I take them along to Arch, to Antergos, to Ubuntu, to Linux Mint. I keep them. Then the screenshot, that's something quite specific. I 
may be not interesting for you. I want GNOME screenshots, but GNOME screenshot is not a standard one here. Uh, made screenshot is a standard one, but if you use GNOME screenshot, then I'm telling him now with an enter if he wants to accept to actually change it. Change it not the PNG should become GPG. That's what I'm telling, just to save kilobytes for my website. So when I make a screenshot for the website, it's now not in PNG, which is often two megabytes big. Now it will be 100, 200, 300 kilobytes. So that's maybe nothing for you. Then the 620, when I find scripts and that I like and I want to keep them, I'm going to put them in here so that um, I can get the specific scripts that are here, of course. This is the thing telling, put them there. And uh, shadow and, and Photoshop like uh, layout for GIMP. The same applies for this sublime here. 625. Sublime text things I want to keep when I say this is my setting, this is my font, this is my. Every time you have to set it again on every system. No, I just copy paste the config file and the settings are the same. And the same goes for variety that has a config file and I have now my specific configuration copy pasted to the system and then the root is still empty but if needed I can copy paste stuff over and 700 is for those who like dark themes if you're a dark lover and the theme sends for themes then then you have you definitely need this if you go to for instance YouTube and want to get an input box or a comment box or anything like that sometimes we cannot see or we can see it very difficultly oh no this this little script does a CSS copy paste so Firefox displays some of the parts correctly so that's 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 very specific uh, this is visual other things are not visual they are, will become visual if you go for instance to the variety the config file has been uh, has been overwritten with my config file so some of the settings will be changed because of that we can change as well here the light version to the custom image so i don't like this normal version or you could you, you want to to change it then you press ctrl h you go to your hidden icons start the scalable panel all the way down righty and you take the light one like so and then you have this other kind of uh, icon it's not that much a difference but it's another one that's what i wanted to show you that it's possible all right um i'm gonna cut the movie here and come back to you with an other item